Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday morning in the old cookbook show. Today we're going to do a recipe out of this little cookbook. Um, it's called the Northern Counties School of Cookery and Household Economy um, Cottage Cookery Recipes from Newcastle on Tyne. Now this was part of a three book series, um, cottage cookery, household cookery, and high class cookery. And the cottage cookery is the, is the lowest one. The recipes are Less complicated using ingredients that are less expensive and easier to get your hands on. Uh, and so today we're going to do a recipe out of this that I I feel might be a little bit divisive and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. We're going to make hot pot. And so this cookbook is from 1899. Uh, I brought out just a selection, random selection of cookbooks that I have from England from this time period from say 1750 to uh, 1940, 1939, I think is the, is the latest one there. And within England and Scotland, um, there's two schools of thought around what goes into a hot pot. And if you want to break it down, um, there's East Coast, West Coast. And this is an East Coast recipe and all of the East Coast recipes follow pretty much what's in this hot pot. Then there's the West Coast recipe, which is um, a little bit more involved and I suspect is probably more flavorful. We'll find out um, because I will eventually do the West Coast version. And then the Scottish version is pretty much just a take on the West Coast version with even more flavors than, than the English version. So we'll get into this one. Um, it starts out by saying, remove everything disagreeable from the meat and cut it into nice sized pieces. Prepare the vegetables and slice them. Put a layer of meat in the bottom of an earthenware dish, then a layer of vegetables, sprinkle with seasoning. Now the seasoning, um, one salt spoon of salt and a quarter salt spoon of pepper. Not a lot of seasoning, not a lot of seasoning at all. And the only other um, sort of real thing that they want you to do is make sure that you stop at the top with potatoes. So. I guess, you know, there's three things that go in here. So I'm going to put down a layer of meat. I don't have the correct earthenware dish to do this in. So I'm going to do that, do the dish in, um, in this pot because it has a tight fitting lid and tight fitting lid is one of the things that you really need to make this work. So there we go. Layer of beef, layer of sliced onion. and a layer of potato. And then another layer of beef. Oops, there's so little seasoning and I almost forgot to put it on. So we'll sprinkle on the tiniest little bit of salt and the tiniest little bit of pepper. And then we'll just continue layering. Um, there's really not much to this at all. When you look at the uh, when you look at the West Coast versions, they are mutton or mutton and beef. There's kidney and and there's a bunch of other things in there that I think you know there's stock instead of water. There's a lot more going on. I think it would be a more flavorful dish, but you know maybe this is going to be great as well. And this is not this is not something that I ever ate growing up. It's not something that I've ever eaten really as an adult. I don't know that I've ever had hot pot. Um, even though, you know, my family comes from England and that's our lineage, this was never part of cooking here. So let me know what you put in your hot pot, um, down in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear what's in your family hot pot. Okay. Finishing with the last layer of potatoes. Now this, um, this gets baked in a slow oven. It says for two hours. Um, and then you lift the lid at the end and brown the potatoes on top. So I'll get the last layer in here. Last potatoes. I'll make sure I get the last of that pepper on. All of the pepper because there's no other flavor. And a quarter pint of water. Cover that with a bit of grease paper. Put the lid on. and into the oven. Hey, 
Hey, Glenn. Hey, hey, friends. Hey, Jules. What have you got going on? Hot pot. A hot pot? A hot pot. <laughs> well, I usually think of hot pot as being really quite liquidy for some reason. Uh, that's what I thought, too. But, but uh, that's just, you know, it could just be, I mean, who's to say? It's a pot? It's hot? This is the, first, food? the first time I've ever had hot pot. My only experience with hot pot is Betty's Hot Pot from the Rover's Return on Coronation Street. Oh, see, that's funny. Okay, so, this, okay, fair <laughs> enough. But that being said, I, I was actually thinking of hot pot as in, like, like a Chinese, like hot, a Chinese pot. hot pot. Like a Chinese hot pot. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. So that's a, where I got. I mixed too, but I hadn't think, thought of, of of the Rover's Return hot pot. <laughs> or or French pot au feu, yeah. which which becomes in feu, which becomes feu in other places. Yeah. So clearly, hot pot just means you know all sorts of things. So this is this is East Coast hot pot. Apparently, judging by the recipes in in our English cookbooks, there's an East Coast West Coast kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> circa, circa yeah. what? Seventeen ten? Like what? Yeah, yeah. Well, pr pretty, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of comforting. Well, it's got all the you know, onion, pepper. Yeah. Yeah. You can, and you know, I can see how you can expand with you know some parsnips, some carrots. So that's <clears throat> what you start to see in the West Coast and Scotland. Some other root vegetables. So you, you see carrots and parsnips. This was just cooked with water, salt, and pepper. You start to see broth and parsley. Parsley. Well, eventually you have a crust, don't you? No. Or do you ever have a crust? No. It's always this, just in a hot pot? It's okay. always just a hot, yeah. And so you, you, you see differences. I mean, kidney mm. made with mutton or mutton and mm. beef and kidney. So, I mean, there's, let us know how you make it. Or, you know, is this something that, is this, TV. My experience is from TV, right? <laughs> People go to the pub and they get a half pint of bitter and, and, and a hot pot and they sit around and they gossip. Is that actually what happens in England? Or does it just happen in Manchester on TV? I am not eating this gracefully, but it is no, very good. No, it is. It's comforting. I would, dare I say, add a few things to it, though. But, really? <laughs> but on its own, it's good. It is, com it is, it is that kind of Mine's almost gone. warm comfort food. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.